I greet you once more in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, dear viewer. I hope the Lord has kept you safe and well, and I would, I would like to welcome you to our 100, 100 days of prayer series. And today we are in day 50, where our prayer focus is transformed by God's love. Transformed by God's love. Our key texts today is from the book of Jeremiah 31 verse 3 and as usual before we go to the word of God may we ask the Holy Spirit to abide with us through prayer let's pray our loving master in heaven we are grateful and thankful for this moment for you have been with us and you are with us thank you for the days that has passed since we started our hundred days of prayer series and that hundred days to uh, humble ourselves to have a communion with you we want to thank you because today we have uh, reached the half uh, because we are in day 50 and as we continue to pray with you to pray to you and even to bring our requests and our supplications to thee we would like to ask you that may you continue being with us we have seen your hand and answered prayers those 50 days that has passed and we believe and even in the remaining days and even in the remaining time of our lives that you will still continue performing miracles may you be with us as we study the word and may your holy spirit interpret this word for us in jesus name we pray amen the bible says in the book of um first uh, jeremiah sorry jeremiah 30 uh, 1 verse 3 the scripture says the Lord has appeared of old to me, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. Let me ask you, dear viewer, have you ever thought that the Lord is far away from you. Is there any time in life that you have ever imagined that God is far away from you? A story is told of a boy who was with a father and the father wanted to show him how God is. One day when they were outside in the field, the father showed the boy an airplane on the air. And when the boy saw that airplane, he said, Oh, daddy, that airplane is so small. Then the father said, Okay, mm, yes, it's small. But one day, the father took the boy to the airport. And when they went to the airport, the father showed the boy the airplane and said, Son, you see that big thing? Yes, daddy. That is the airplane that you saw up in, in, in the clouds. And that's how the father started explaining his son about God. He told his son that God seems to be very small or to be very far when we are away from him. But when we come closer to him, we start realizing how powerful God is. Today, brethren, our focus is to be transformed by God's love. And this love of God cannot transform us if we are not close to him, if we are not near to him. Most of the time, God calls us so that we can be his workmanship. But many times, we reject his call. We don't give God permission to use us the way he should use us because we are his and he should work miracles through us but because we look at him as if he is a god who is very far we don't experience him today i want to ask you a question have you ever experienced god love and you have if you have will you or have you ever given him permission to use you in his harvest it is a high time, brethren, that we give God permission to work in our hearts.
It might not look the same as it did three months ago before this pandemic of COVID-19. You know, before then, we were very free. We, 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 we went on with our work as normal until this pandemic hit us. And that's when we are seeing changes. I know even in future, it might not be the same because even in our churches, we are exp experiencing differences. We used to worship here in church, but now we have online church where people, uh, uh, where people um, watch uh, services online and they participate from their homes. I think it is a time that we gear up in ministry even in media because we have seen that it has an impact i know ministry might not be the same again but there is much to do and many souls are waiting to hear the good news i would like to request you that you pray and ask him what he wants you to do remember he is waiting for you what about our lives after this COVID? What about our lives today? Have we given God permission to use us in his harvest? That is the question that I want you to ask. If we feel distance from God, because sometimes we don't give ourselves uh, to him because we feel that we are very far from him. Remember, he is waiting with open arms of love for us to turn to him. When we feel that he is at distance, this is not the one who has gone away. We are the ones who have gone away. And he's just waiting us to invite him in our hearts so that he can enter. Remember Jesus said, I am at the door knocking and whoever will open, I will enter and dine with them. He not only wants to welcome us home, but he also has a special praise of service for each one of us. He wants us to participate in his work. We are God's workmanship. It is not that he cannot do this work. He can do it. He can send angels to do the work. But he wants you and me to participate. The question for today is that will we open our hearts to his call? Will we accept him to work in us? Look, my brother, we should be transformed by his love. That this is that we should look at the acts of love that he has done unto us. Look around the different ways God is showing you his love. Perhaps you will see his love through others. Perhaps you will see his love through nature or by some other means. When you discover his love is a unique way, in a unique way, reciprocate that love to others, especially at this time as you fulfill, at this time of COVID-19. As you fulfill this commandment because there is a commandment that we were given in the book of John 15 verse 12 that we should love one another as God have loved us. God have loved us that freely. We should love others. We should show others compassion. Make it a habit to look for God's love and for unique ways that you can share his love with others. The Father loves us. God loves us. Not because of the great propitiation, but he provided that but he provided propitiation because he loves us. Christ was the medium through which he could pour out his infinite love upon a foreign world. Remember, he sent him to come and die for us. The only begotten son. God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. Such love is without a parallel. The, a parallel. Children of the heavenly king, precious promise, the theme of for the most profound meditation, the matchless love of God for a world that did not love him. That is the love that we should have to one another. Remember, God loves us and he loves you. He wants you to love others, to reciprocate that love that he has loved you with. And the only way to do that is to be a workmanship in his vineyard, to take the gospel, to help others. And when you do that, I know you'll be pleased and his coming will be hastened. These troubled, troubles that we are seeing in this world, they were not meant to be. But because of the devil, because of the sin, they are here with us. We will not escape from them until 
Jesus Christ come. Let us commit our lives in doing what is in accordance to the will of God. Being disciples, taking the message outside. Let us be pushed to service through the love of Christ. Today, let us focus our prayers in praying for the ministers, praying for the church, and praying for ourselves so that we, we can commit ourselves to Christ. Shall we pray? Our kind and loving Master in heaven, we thank you because you are gracious unto us. We thank you for the wonderful work that you uh, did to us, O Jehovah God. You sent your only begotten Son to come and die for us. What a wonderful love. May you enable us to believe in that. May you enable us, Father, to soak ourselves in that message so that, Jehovah God, we will be transformed by that love that you showed us. It, is not, it was not easy for you to send your Son. And I know that even today, Jehovah God, as we are living in this world, it will be very difficult for someone who has a son to give that son to uh, save even the world. But Father, we thank you for the act of love that you did unto us. And I know as sinners as, sinners as we are, you still love us even today. Unconditionally, you love us. That's why, Father, we are pleased our, our, our voices to say thank you for what you did unto us. Thank you for my dear viewer. Thank you for the way they have, he, has, he or she has been following us. And today as we continue celebrating your love, we pray that may that love that you loved us with transform our hearts so that Jehovah, we will be able to do what is in accordance to thy will. And at the end of it all, Jehovah, we will have many crowns and many stars on our crowns because we have changed many to follow thee. Thank you for listening unto our prayers. Take care of us and be with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen and amen.